Hi guys, welcome to tutorial.com. Today the topic that we are going to discuss is position from physics. So position basically is the location of an object. Suppose four people A, B, C and D are sitting in a row equidistant from the neighbors from left to right as shown. So left is here and right is here. What is the position of B with respect to A? So the position of B with respect to A is immediate right. The position of B with respect to C is immediate left and the position of B with respect to D is left. Let's check our answers. I hope we have written this. So we can see that the position of B it changes with respect to the reference point that we have taken. For example, A, C and D. So position is relative. That is, it varies according to the reference point. So if we have taken a reference point and then we have determined the position, that is our relative position. But the absolute position on the other hand is the exact location of the point. So on Google Maps, if you have ever tried putting coordinates, you will find that it pinpoints to a single position. That is its absolute position. So for uh, like uh, now usually we use uh, a graph system to tell the position of a point. So the two axes they intersect uh, intersect at a point O which is a universal point. So if I say that uh, you know what is the position of A with respect to B. So B is my reference point. So my position of A with respect to B is on left or I can say it's in the west direction. But if I have taken the absolute position of point A, I'll say that point A lies in the northwest direction. So if you're sitting in a room and I say that you're pointing in the north direction and I ask you to look in your southeast direction, instantly all of you will start looking, you know, obliquely in the backward direction. So that is my absolute position. Whereas relative position would be try looking uh, towards the right of the Elmira in your room. So different, all of you will have a different object lying on the right of the Elmira in your room. So that is my relative position. Here, if I'll see uh, my C is, lies towards the south of A, but it lies in the southwest direction. So southwest direction is my absolute position and downwards is my relative position. Let's solve a few questions based on the concept that you have just learned. So what is the position of E with respect to D? So E with respect to D. That in the west direction or I can say it's towards the left. What is the position of O with respect to B? So O with respect to B, it's in southwest direction. What is the position of B with respect to E? So B with respect to E, it's in northeast direction. So you have to be careful about the directions or you know if you tell it in the terms of left right up and down or whatever directions you want to tell the answer in now last find the absolute position of all points so absolute to tell the absolute position you have to take the standard point as o and then for a it would be north for b it would be northeast for d it would be southeast and for e it would be south it would be a more exact absolute position if I knew the coordinate of it. For example, if I knew this is one, this point is two, this is three. So, um, and this point is one. So E will have X point as one and Y as three. So its position would be one comma three in the Southeast direction. So I hope the relative and absolute position is clear to you. If you have any doubts, do not forget to comment in the comment section and also please do subscribe. Go visit the site tutelf.com for the next episode. Take care.